In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways to quickly fix a loose drywall anchor. Now, probably one of the most common areas I see this happen is in a bathroom or a kitchen. Um, and usually it happens with like a towel rack or maybe a toilet paper dispenser. What happens is eventually it starts to work its way loose. Um, and a lot of that's because the weight's changing on it. Um, and after time, that cheap drywall anchor will just start to pull itself out of the wall. Now, of course, it's, it's also possible that you just maybe drilled your hole too large um, and the drywall anchor you had won't fit anymore. Um, maybe you have a cheap drywall anchor from a product and you want to put something better in. Now, any of those scenarios could easily be fixed by one of these three options, and they'll definitely make that anchor hold just a little bit better. Now, the first solution we're going to talk about today is to simply add a little bit of drywall mud or spackle to your drywall anchor. Now, again, you don't have to use one of those two products. I've seen people use foam, uh, spray foam, some other stuff. Um, but in any case, I don't think this is the quickest solution and by far it's not the best solution. Um, it's not quick because you do have to wait for whatever you're putting in the hole to dry. Um, I also don't think it's the best because in most cases, no matter what you put in that hole, um, you're going to have to come back and clean it up. So if it's drywall mud, you might have to come back and sand. If it's foam, you're going to have to cut the excess off. Um, but I will show you how to go ahead and do that right now if you do choose to go that route. So what you're going to do is if this is spackle, um, if it's drywall mud, just get a little bit like that. Kind of go all the way around like that. You can twist that in there. Just set it right there. Then you're just going to let that dry. And then when it dries, you can actually screw it in. Uh, but you do want to get as much as you can up there so it doesn't actually break it. But like I said, you're going to have to wait a little bit for that set. And then you'll probably have to go back and clean it up a little bit. Um, get rid of some of that drywall mud that's actually on the screw. That way you can easily tighten the screw down. Um, again, not the, not the easiest or the best solution. Now, the next solution is going to be your toggle bolt, um, and this will work in pretty much any situation. Um, I don't think this is the best solution unless, of course, um, it's a heavier product that you're hanging on the wall or it's a larger hole. Um, but in either case, I this isn't my favorite solution, um, but the idea is you just push this back in here. Now, you will need to have whatever you're hanging already on this. Now you can see it does open up on the back pretty easily. Now a quick way to get around that is going to be your flip toggle. And that's really simple to use. All you're going to do is flip this down like this, right there, and then slide that in. Clip go in like that and that will flip out the back. And you've got a lot more room, which is nice. And then you just... I'm just going to pull that tight like this. Pull it tight on the wall like that and hold that down and then snap it off. Then just take your screw and then you can hang your product off. Now that's a good solution. Um, it's reasonably quick um, and you don't have to hang the product at the same time, which I think gets around the standard toggle bolt issue. The, the challenge I have is those are a little bit more expensive and there is an easier and cheaper solution. Now another quick and easy solution for a small hole like this is gonna be your easy anchor. Now these do come in larger sizes, so if, it, if the hole's a little bit bigger than that, um, it still may work. I will link to these in my Amazon store, um, so be sure to check those out as well. Um, but right now I'm going to demo how you get this out. Now, this specifically, um, the threads are no longer working, so I got to pull this out a different way. Now, normally to pull these out, I would screw the screw back in um, and then pull it out with my hammer. Unfortunately, the threads are out on this, um, so I'm going to have to do this a different way. Um, so I'm going to show you another technique. So if you can, what I like to do is just take my hammer, push that down, and then pull it out like that. Um, as you see, it kind of fell apart. Um, you can also take a pair of pliers and try to pull it out. Um, that. So now what we're going to do is just going to take our easy anchor here, shove it in as far as you can, take your screwdriver, apply some pressure here, and just start screwing it in. And you can just use the screw that came with it. 
and that's an easy solution for smaller holes. Now, as I've stated in some of my other videos, the Easy Anchor is one of my go-tos. Um, so a lot of times when I buy a product, instead of using these cheap plastic drywall anchors, I'll just go ahead and spend a couple dollars more um, and put one of these in because I know it's going to last a lot longer and it's going to be a lot stronger. 